Hey guys, welcome to Farm Charm Chic. I'm Emily. In today's episode, I have some beautiful Kirkland inspired DIYs for you. I hope that you enjoy them. This is also part of a collaboration and I will give you more information about that in just a moment. If you like crafting, DIYs, dupes, hacks, thrift flips, or just creating in general, I would love if you would consider subscribing. And if you do like any of the projects you see in today's video, remember to hit that thumbs up. But let's make some DIYs. I love the look of this little frosted glass lantern from Kirkland's and thought I could easily recreate something similar with this glass little jar that I found at Dollar Tree. Now this does have this little twine around the top of it and so I'm going to leave that rather than try to find anything since it's all kind of like a one-stop shop thing with this if that makes sense. So I'm just using my little heat tool to remove that sticker from the bottom and then I'm just going to wipe it off and get it all cleaned up. I will also take this little twine off now because I'm going to frost the glass on this little lantern. I will be replacing that once this process is done. So there is a little bit of glue on the sides of the lip of the jar there, so I just used my heat tool to get that completely cleaned off so that way the glass is completely clean. To frost this, I'm just using this Rust-Oleum Frosted Glass Spray. I have never used this before, so this was the first time, and I absolutely love the process. I just took this out into my little spray paint studio in my garage. It's just a giant box that I have so it doesn't get all over everything. And I just give this about three really light coats. I just go in just a typical spray paint motion, you know, just little small bursts, stay about 12 inches away. Let it thoroughly dry in between each layer. This is so satiny, the finish is so beautiful. It is so smooth and I love how this turns out. This is definitely a hit and I will be using this frosted glass from Rust-Oleum much more often. This is not sponsored or anything by them. I just ended up really liking this product. So I'm just going to replace this little twine back on here and I am going to have that little handle um, get that put into place as well. So I just use a little bit of glue. That's how it was originally affixed to the jar. So after I kind of get all of my measurements down here or kind of I don't really measure anything, you guys know that. I just kind of eyeball it. And then I'm just going to hot glue where I want the pieces to be. And then I will be able to have that little handle to hang my lantern from. After I have glued into place where my little handle is, I'm just going to wrap around the rest of that twine and I will just kind of tuck the pieces under and glue that. You can kind of watch how I do that here if you decide to recreate this. Now, if you wanna go for the same vibe and you don't wanna spray paint it, you could easily just go look for this lantern at Dollar Tree. It would be super cute. Of course, I found that on Kirkland's and then I saw this at Dollar Tree and thought, oh my gosh, this is the perfect opportunity to try and frost glass since I've never actually done that and I just love how it turns out but you can kind of see I'm just going to tuck that back under now I could have easily gone and thought of something else to do to make more of a wood type of handle on this but I thought it was just easier to do it this way and I got the same feel and the same look from this so now I'm just going to take a couple of these little tea lights these also came from Dollar Tree you just pull the little tab out and they light up and I end up putting two of them in there to add a little bit more light Here's a quick look at our inspiration piece that was from Kirkland's. And then here is the piece that I recreated. I really think this turned out great. You're going to get that same feel and that same vibe from this lantern. I love how that frosted spray paint turned out. And this really was just a couple of dollars, which is a fraction of the price from the original Kirkland's version. What do you guys think of this? Do you like how it turned out? Would you try that frosted glass after seeing this? I loved how it turned out. I am so excited to get to introduce you to my good friend, Fabi from Arrows DIY. Fabi is so wonderful and she does the most amazing DIYs and she also has a Kirkland Dupes inspired DIY video for you and the link will be down in my description box. So all you have to do is just click on that and it will take you right over to her YouTube channel and it will start playing her video for you. She is so great. She has such a wonderful personality and her voiceovers on her video. You are going to love her. While you're there, show her some love. If you would like to subscribe to her channel, give her video a thumbs up, just show her some support because she is amazing and does such great DIYs. Thank you so much for collabing with me today, Favi. I, again, you guys, that link will be down in my description box so you can click on that and see what Kirkland-inspired DIYs she decided to do for you today.
I have been loving these little succulent displays I have been seeing. This one is from Kirkland's and it will be our inspiration piece. Now you may, if you've watched me, remember this piece from Easter time that I created. I had this little drawer that I found at Hobby Lobby on clearance, but you can use any container that you might have, such as this one from Dollar Tree. I have even seen these dobles are everywhere. I have a good link on Amazon. I'll leave down there for you to find them inexpensively. Um, but I've seen a lot of different displays in those. Even these little uh, boxes that you may have seen um, like in your thrift store or from floral arrangements. I have a video where I redid that one. I can leave the link to that as well. But I'm just going to use this piece from Easter so I can have it be more of a year round piece. So I'm just going to remove these eggs that I had put on barbecue skewers. Now, if I decide to at Easter time, slip these eggs back into this piece, I can easily do that. So I'm just taking a bunch of different succulents that I have. Now these came from a combination of Dollar Tree, Amazon and Hobby Lobby. I'm going to start with this taller piece right here because I feel like that kind of gives a little bit of height. So I'm starting with that. And then I also have this one, I think this is called like string of pearls or something in the succulents world. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just going to slip this down here in this corner kind of opposite from where my height is to kind of give a little bit of droop, drooping and swoopness. If that like coming down, cascading over, if that makes sense, I felt like that gave a really good balance. Now I am by no means a floral, a florist, a an arranger of florals or anything you guys know that I kind of just do what looks good and what's pleasing to my eye and that is what is so wonderful about this is is you really can't do anything wrong as long as you're doing it to what you like you're going to do a fantastic job I'm not hot gluing anything into this arrangement right now, so I can change it out if I decide to. This little box does have a layer of styrofoam that I glued in there. In fact, I'll leave a link in my description box of the original video so you can see how I set this box up with the styrofoam if you're interested in that. But if I do wanna replace those eggs or anything else in there, I can take these out or I can switch things around if I want to. Now, if you guys have never heard me talk about succulents, I always pick some up at Dollar Tree. Their succulents for a dollar is great. However, on Amazon, you can find the most beautiful succulents that ends up being about $1.25 to $1.50 per piece of succulents, which now that Dollar Tree is $1.25, it makes it much more comparable in price to those, but they are so much more realistic. And like the string of pearls that I got that is drooping over the edge was part in one of the uh, packages that I got. You get some really good different variations. So I'll leave a link to that as well if you're looking for some really good alternative to Dollar Tree succulents, because I feel like you get the same like four or five different pieces there. It's really hard to find some of the different uh, variations and in the packages you get on Amazon you get a lot and I feel like it's a very comparable in price just make sure that you're turning your box or your little container all the way around get it from a 360 view to get all of those spaces filled in now here is a look again at the Kirkland's version and here is a look at the version that I recreated I love this I love the fresh feeling that it has and honestly like this maybe was about $25 to recreate but the original pieces I have seen go for well over hundred to two hundred dollars depending on how big they are what do you guys think of this do you like the succulent arrangements like this they are becoming one of my most favorites I found this picture on Kirkland's website and I thought it was so cute and it reminded me of some items that I had. So I have this little white picture here that I used to display some flowers in. You can find these very inexpensively at Ikea, Target, Hobby Lobby, anywhere like that. But I have these little uh, rub-on decals from Dollar Tree and I'm just showing you that I had cut the wreath portion out to do in other DIYs and I have all of these little uh, remaining leaves and petals or whatever these are right here, these little stems. And I thought I would use Use these to kind of recreate the look on this picture so I'm just cutting each of these individually out now these rub-on transfers came from Dollar Tree I know you can get some on Amazon I'm not sure that I've seen them necessarily in the craft stores if you have seen them like at Michaels or Hobby Lobby or Joann's I would love to know like in what area you found them because I haven't really had success in finding them there but I'm starting with the bigger pieces that I have and I'm just kind of going to lay these down and then I just take a craft stick or like a popsicle stick type thing and I'm just going to gently rub on all of the surface area of this and it is going to transfer this little leaf pattern here onto my pitcher. 
These transfer quite easily, and if you ever have an instance where you pull back that uh, layer sheet like I did just there and some of the transfer starts to come off, you just lay it back down and do your little craft stick over the top of it to transfer, and it is quite easy to do, and you can't tell that there was like any type of break or anything in the pattern. So now the process of this is just finding a spot for all of these little transfers here. So I just kind of went around in different areas um, very randomly and just decided to start sticking some things on here. This was a very, I'll kind of speed this up a little bit here, but it was kind of just a process of turning my picture this way and that way, finding different shapes. I tried to start with the bigger ones and then go to the next size down. But if I ever saw a spot that I'm like, oh, this is a perfect to tuck this little design into, to me, I've had a lot of these rub-on transfers left over for like the last year from using that darling little wreath in the middle of this design. And so I was looking for the perfect project to use all of these little ferns and little um, branches and everything on leaves, whatever they are. And this was the, ex once I saw this on Kirkland's, I knew that I had to do this and that this was the perfect project to do. And this maybe took like 20 minutes to do. It wasn't a long project at all and it was super easy and I think it turns out extremely cute. So here is the original Kirkland's inspiration piece here. And then here is the picture that I recreated, I or that I created. I love how it turns out. It's going to be perfect to put some florals in and I think it's going to be the perfect addition to my farmhouse kitchen. Kirkland's has this adorable window and it is quite large. However, at Dollar Tree, just currently, I found this last week at Dollar Tree, they have these little teeny windows back in stock. Now I found this in the aisle where the frames are and like the little canvases and things, just so in case you're looking, you know where to look. So I thought it would be cute to create a little mini version of that window. So I'm just taking some Mod Podge and I am going around the whole area of this plastic because I want to make sure that my paint sticks to the plastic and doesn't rub off. So I give a really good coat of Mod Podge all over the surface area of this window. Now, if you would like to do a bigger window and recreate a bigger window, I have made a couple of big windows out of plywood and my jigsaw, and I'll leave a link down in the description box so you know where to find those videos. If you're interested in making one that is like true to size of the Kirkland's version, I thought it would just be really cute to use this little window to make a little mini version. I have never found these windows at Dollar Tree before, so I was ecstatic when I found this. So again here I'm just putting some Mod Podge all over this and then we're going to take it out to my spray paint studio and I'm going to spray paint it a white color to match the one at Kirkland's. In the wood section at Hobby Lobby, I found this darling little welcome sign or welcome cutout here. It is very little. It fits across the window perfectly. So I'm just taking a baby wipe and some antiquing wax. You can do this in whatever color you would like to contrast with your window. That is what's so fun about DIY is you get to personalize it to what you like. So you could paint your window any color. You can do this in any color. Fourth of July colors would be super cute. But you can kind of see now that my window is painted there, how cute that welcome looks on there. So I'm just going to take it now and I'm going to use some hot glue to glue this onto the window. If you put your hot glue on the back of the letters like this rather than the window, it is easier to disguise the hot glue pieces so that way you don't have any clumps of glue on that crossbar of the window in between the letters. So here's just a look at the Kirkland's inspiration piece that I have here. And then here is a look at the window that I created from the Dollar Tree product, the window and then the welcome tag from Hobby Lobby. So cute. I think this would be perfect for the top of a tiered tray or anywhere in your decor. It's going to be so cute. I honestly think I may put this in my china hutch with some things. I think this turned out so cute and it was just a couple of dollars. Don't forget that I'm on Instagram also. I love to meet new Insta friends, so I would love for you to come over and say hi, check out my page, and see all the latest projects that I'm working on. I'll be sure and leave a link down in my description box so you can easily find me. I just love the look of this little pot on Kirkland's website and thought I could try and replicate it. It doesn't look exactly like this one, but I think it turns out pretty good. The same feel. I just got this pot at Dollar Tree and the one at Kirkland's kind of looked a little bit roughed up. So I'm just taking some white chalk paint with a chip brush and I'm just doing a very light dry brushing all over this. And I go over the entire pot a couple of times and I'll do a layer, wait for it to dry. And I'll even do like an up and down um, motion with the brush as well, like tapping 
dipping it onto the pot to give a little bit more detail to it. These pots are great from Dollar Tree and they're actually pretty sturdy. They're all just plastic as I'm sure that you can tell or that you've guessed. But I really liked the shape of this one because it had kind of that rounder bulbous like shape to the bottom of it. And I thought it was really kind of gave that same feel that the Kirkland pot gives as well. So here I'm just showing that tapping motion I was talking about earlier. I have such a small amount of paint. It's just what's left on my paint after doing all of the dry brushing. And this just gives a little bit of a different texture to it. Helps break up all of the distressing and everything. Just something extra. So I'm putting a few Jenga blocks or something in the bottom. And I'm just showing you this is a plant from Ikea. And it fits perfectly in there if you have something little to kind of prop it up. So that's a great alternative to put in there. I also have this little topiary ball that I got at Hobby Lobby. It was from their spring line and if so it was 50% off when I bought it so it's four dollars and so I'm just showing you that that works absolutely perfect there and I, it was very light with those Jenga blocks in there and that topiary ball so I just grabbed some rocks I had you can get those from your yard or Dollar Tree sells them any craft store stuck those in the bottom and then I just tucked this little topiary ball down in there Here's a look at the Kirkland's inspiration, and then here's a look at how mine turned out. It is not exactly the same, I do know that, but it gives the same feel and the same vibe, and I think for a fraction of the cost, it turned out lovely. It's going to be the perfect touch to anywhere in my decor that needs just a little bit of greenery. I hope that you have enjoyed these Kirkland inspired dupes that I have made for you. I had so much fun combing the Kirkland's website, finding just the right projects to do. If you had a favorite, I would love for you to let me know down in the comments. But more importantly, if you like the dupes that I have done for you, I would love to know some different places you would like to see dupes from. So if you have any great ideas, let me know in the description box where else you would like to see me do dupes from because I love bringing these to you. They're so fun to do and I would love to know what you're looking for. Remember to click that link down in my description box to watch Favi's video. You're going to love everything that she has created. She also has some Kirkland inspired dupes for you. So make sure you click that. While you're at her channel, go ahead and show her some love. Subscribe to her channel. Let her know that you like what she's doing. If you do like what she's doing, which I know you will because she is amazing. Thank you so much, guys. As always, remember to be safe, be smart, be nice, be happy. Choose to have a good day because you are amazing. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the video that you just saw, here's another one that you might enjoy. And as always, remember to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and have an amazing day.